Okay, so uh, let's, uh, we have a few minutes left of the show and I want to pack in as many questions as I can. So Chinna is our next query, who's 32 years of age, says, for the last one year, I've had an SIP of 2,000 rupees each in three funds, the Canada Rubeco ELSS Tax Saver Fund, the Mirai Asset ELSS Tax Saver Fund, and the Quant ELSS Tax Saver Fund. Should I invest in two to three funds from the same category or should I invest in only one fund with good returns? Good question, Chinna. Three ELSS tax saver funds. Santosh, do you think that makes sense? Well, it is a bit much. One could have solved the problem, but I think I, I can see where Chinna is going. He's going with diversifying within the ELSS category because whether you do one fund, two fund, or three fund, the, the pro objective of the tax saving category is to save taxes and optimize on return. But here, I think he's done a bit of a smart thing by going in two, three uh, selection. Now, also, what I see interesting over here is these are very divergent styles from Canada Bico to Mire to Quant. Uh, all the three are quite broadly uh, placed in the spectrum. So I think, uh, China, you've done a good job for yourself, though you could have just done with one or maybe two schemes. You've diversified well. So as your portfolio grows, it's nice to keep it diversified. Uh, and you know this learning will be valuable for you. Okay. Um, I think there was a bit of self-awareness as far as Chennai is concerned because uh, they also asked, should I invest in only one fund with good returns? Uh, just an overview on tax saver schemes. Um, do they make sense as, um, and, you know, it, are mutual funds the right way to look at tax saving? I think for this, the answer is an absolute resounding yes. Mm. Now, the first thing is first you have to keep in mind is that you have to use the old tax regime for this so that you can get the benefit of Section 80C. There are very simple uh, points that uh, help us uh, figure out why this is the best. Number one, uh, this has got the lowest amount of lock-in, which is only three years. You can do an SIP over here. You can diversify like how China is done into multiple schemes because if you think the styles are different. And number four, when you compare all the available tax saving scheme on a 5, 10, 15, 20-year basis, Again, a resounding answer that ELSS schemes have just outperformed every other avenue left. In fact, ELSS schemes have actually on par with some of the best performing funds in across categories, even in mutual funds. So as far as China's uh, 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 thought process is, I think he's done a good job for both saving tax and for also optimizing growth of his portfolio. All right. So it is a good idea in certain cases. Thank you so much, Santosh, for joining us today.